Hello, uh, welcome to Ryukbot. Today I'm going to go with setting up uh, the demo system in game. Uh, and we're going to go from there. So now, well, first you open up advanced options. So that did just automatically. And you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now, I have for the most part default settings, except for these two, but we'll get there. Um, so, demo support. This right here. This is essentially Valve's version of PRAC. Um, for those that know what that is, it will automatically record demos and things uh, as they come. So, recording mode. This one's kind of self-explanatory. It'll tell it when to record. When you have it set to manual, then you use the command ds underscore record and it will start recording and give it a name just automatically so you don't need a name after it. Uh, if you do put a name after it, that's fine. But essentially just adding that ds underscore to the beginning will allow you to um, activate all of this stuff whenever you want. Otherwise there's competitive matches. This is Valve competitive matches. <coughs> um, so just the competitive mode. All matches, which is exactly what you'd think. As soon as you load into a game, it'll start recording. That's what I have on just because I like to always have a demo. Um, and then all tournament matches. This is what PREC generally is, as most people know it, which is just as soon as like a game starts, it'll start recording. Folder to be used. Default is demos. That's what Ryukbot uses as well. So just leave it as demos. File name prefix. You can ignore this. You can have it. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, uh, one thing you can do is actually there is a command for this. Uh, and you can have in your class config set up. So it's the prefix is the name of the class underscore everything else. So that is a thing you could set up. But if you're playing something or you have it set to all matches it's not going to work um, at least it's not going to work properly but if you're doing tournament matches uh, it should be fine play sounds for start stop events i have this on it's just a feedback thing lets me know that it started recording not that important log events is a very important um, this is uh, essentially what ryuk but works off of by default so it creates the underscore events file correctly formatted and it just does everything you need uh, automatically for you so this by default records a bunch of kill streaks um, this is again cosmetic clearly if you can do your own thing um, I prefer it there but it's up to you um, this is not necessary this is just saves a screenshot of the scoreboard nobody really cares um, now these are important because these affect your youth bot settings um, so the main kill streak count. This is the lowest amount of kills before it counts as a kill streak. Um, so three kills, uh, like in a short span. And this right here, by default, this is normally four. Uh, this right here is labeled as five. This means that uh, if the kill is within five seconds of another kill, it'll count as uh, part of that kill streak. Uh, by default, this is fifteen. I don't know why. That's an insanely high number. Uh, basically, if you get a kill and then less than five seconds later you get another one and less than five seconds later you get another one, it will mark it down in your underscore events. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, and this can also be changed to whatever. So like if three kills in five seconds is easy for you, just make this a higher number. Same with here. Um, same with the five seconds. Uh, this could be raised higher or lower. Um, by default, these the settings for Ryukbot by default, I believe, are based on me. Um, I've stretched them out, but kind of for the instance, they're based on me, not the default settings in here. But you can raise or lower those as much as you want. Just remember that 66 ticks is uh, one second, so 1,000 is right around 15 seconds. Auto delete recordings. Uh, I don't recommend you put this on, but also kind of do depending on your use. So personal preference, really. Um, but this will, if there's nothing worth recording, it'll just delete the demo and every file associated with it. And then uh, that is okay. just to clear things up. So uh, let's exit out of there and let's look at the commands. So ds underscore gives you all the commands. Auto delete directory. 
tells you where those go. Uh, enable. This is just the mode. Kill delay, min streak. Uh, this is stuff you can edit based on what class you're going with. Though Rubot bases kill streaks off of uh, the demo. So if you get, uh, yeah, you you get what I'm saying. It, it each demo, it bases off the demo, not like each individual kill streak. But yes. Uh, log one enables the logging. DS underscore mark. This is by far the most important command. I recommend you bind a button to this, um, like I have. This will basically allow you to do bookmarking uh, with with PREC. It's actually PREC underscore mark, but with with this, it's uh, DS underscore uh, mark right there. So that will just add a bookmark. So Rebot will record an 18 second clip surrounding that point. So like if you just did something epic, it'll record it for you without you having to do any external input or clip searching or whatever. So I highly recommend you get that in there. Uh, so that's essentially the entirety of this video. It's pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty chillaxed, um, pretty easy to understand. So uh, goodbye.